All right, would you like to have a look on this one then? Oh, I'm calling this the lion and his wife. <laughs> it looks like, doesn't it? Okay. Now, again, same thing. Now that's, uh, yeah, that's what I should have done at the beginning. Now this is a format, a portrait format, because they're both standing. So what I should have done on the other one was the landscape format, which this one is correct where it should be. Now again, same thing, very, very simple line. Uh, um, get the, well, get the back, back of his body, which is the rounded here. And I'm deliberately giving it a little bit more of a, because I can see this pretty much straight, but I'm giving it a little bit more of an angle here to make it a bit more attractive, uh, the movement there. So the angle of his back side, the lines, then you got the, the spine, the mane coming right up here, um, face, mouth, uh, that's all in the dark, this side of, because if, you, if you've noticed, the light is coming from the left here, sorry, from the right. And, and the shadow, I'm keeping, and that's why I'm keeping the shadow here on the left. Then you have the lioness, which is right under his lower chin. And to look at the body, uh, the body is not actually straight. It's more like this. Look, if you, if, you, if you just squint your eyes and you delete the face, so you just don't see the face. Look, the back of the body it's like an irregular cucumber or what they call um, pumpkin, mm -hmm. whatever you, you, you see on it, doesn't matter. Then you got the back of the lioness, which is, I guess, is a pelvis, isn't it? On us. Mm -hmm. And on them, let's call it pelvis because who knows? It is, yeah. Yeah, they have the same, don't they? Yeah. Okay, and that's the front, huge, massive leg back leg I just noticed the tail here tail goes right there and head ear but that's the that's the simplest form this one as simple as that look within a couple of minutes you have both both figures now that means that doesn't mean that you cannot progress more but at the, the most simplest form will be this one huh? back leg of back of back leg and the back body of of the male and the movement of the female like this and now that I have a bit more time or at least I've got the movement or I think I have the movement because you might say well it's not exactly accurate but it's not about accuracy it's about gesture and and accuracy will come. If you get the gesture, the accuracy follows straight away after that. Then you have the shadow of the head of the female, eye, nose, opening her mouth as well. And nose of the male is there. His mouth is obviously open. Eyes are somewhere here, mane is there, and the tail of him, of the big male is there, something like that. That's it, the main, the main shape. Now, what I need to do now on the top of that, I will not leave it at, at that stage. I will also add a little bit more charcoal huh? on the top of the pencil. But that again, as I said, that will depend on the page that you're using, on the paper you're using. I hope that will work with this new paper of mine. That's not working. So a bit more charcoal, get darker there. And the, male, the female, you've got the darkness on her, of her ears, main body. Can you see Chucky? Yeah. Thanks. Sure? Yeah. I'm not in front. Okay. And, um, oh no. A a bit charcoal. More, yeah, charcoal. Can I borrow one charcoal? Please? Yeah, absolutely. I'll give it back. Thank you. Thank you. That's a thinner as well, if you want. Oh, no, don't worry. Thank you. Look. Darker. Uh, here. Front leg. 
mouth. If you want to be a bit more precise, a bit more. But again, I'm, I'm again, I'm like you. I'm uh, drawn by the details. You know, keep it transparent. Keep it dark. The less you do, the more it shows. Uh, the more into the gesture we are. The less drawing you do, the more you concentrate onto the gesture. Less likeness because that's not our aim today. Today is a gesture. And in that area, that area here, which is that area here, it's all in the shadow, or at least it's dark. Huh? That's a shadow. That's a spine, and you have the rib cage here. And the other front leg of the female. The male you have, as I said, the eyes are somewhere. They sit about here. <coughs> Nose. Uh, Man. Catching. And da uh, I mean the foot. Then you have the savanna grass here, I guess. That's it. And huge tail side of the side of his back side the side of the back side then you have the front leg of the line here again all in dark and separate the light from the shadow and then you're on the right track shadow shadow all this side and then light well light at the top of the Hmm? See what I mean? Simple images. I know it might not say much, but it's not about, again, it's not about, if you have the time and you want to be a bit more precise, obviously you can add, huh? like be a bit more detailed, you can add, I'm adding a bit of background here. Instead of working on the main, you can work on the background. Mm -hmm. But if you look, if you squint your eyes, if you squint your eyes, you will see that. Which is this my one. eyes, I can see the naked back of a woman with her head in something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Yeah, I'm not being facetious <laughs> or anything like that. Okay. It's one of yours that, yeah, I struggle to know what that was. But that's. Yeah, because they are pretty much the same colour, aren't they? <laughs> it's such a vague image. But okay, let me let me do that. Oh, let me do it here. Yeah. So what I, know, I was doing, I, know, I, know the sh I saw the shapes when you first did. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. So what I was concentrating, look, I was concentrating on that. Right. See, yeah. dark there. Yeah, yeah. Dark here. Yeah, yeah. And dark here. Uh -huh. So yeah, dark on that. Ah, that that's actually it's easier to do it that way. Look, then you have the t uh, head of the female. So dark on this one. Dark on the tail. Here you got the leg, the front leg of the male. And that's another, another way of seeing it. Dark, dark, dark. And dark here, obviously. <coughs> and keep an eye because she's, the female is lower than the male. She's sitting lower. Mm. It's actually not lower. Pro it's not probably. It's 100% closer to the photographer mm. than the male is. Mm. Huh? Mm. Male is there. And bring up that highlight, highlight. Look, that highlight here, yeah. which creates his back foot. Hmm? But yeah, that's 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 what I'm trying to get. It's basically the the most the most the most is that what, rudimentary shapes. Mm -hmm. That's huh? a good yeah. expression. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there. That's it. So keep it as simple as that. If that was a painting, you'll probably get away with that because you don't need more details. It will be kind of an abstract, mm -hmm. but inspired by real, realism, but then adding abstractionism, as in shapes, dark shapes, dark shapes down here, and then light shapes at the top there. Now, as I said, if you have a bit more time, you can be a bit more, let's say, specific with where the eyes sit. Uh, and the nose is 
and the mouth is there and the head of the womb of the female woman I'm thinking female there eye and the shape of the head okay that was it yeah that's yes. the as simple as that as I said I just want you to be okay let's continue with and finishing this off this is basically about as I said earlier on uh, all about what we need to do is just get those movement of the line that gestural beautiful gestural um, movement of the line of the lioness um, get those middle tones in obviously it's a sketch so you don't need to get most of it or loads of it and just sketching out the movement of both animals and just a little bit more middle tones I brush and take and I'm basically I'm just applying dust from the charcoal willow charcoal the the base the darkness the well the, the um, grass the savanna dried grass a bit more background here and I'm deliberately moving or getting rid of that line so I'm pushing or making that line particularly back part of the background now why well because I want to concentrate or I'm choosing to concentrate on that front leg for well, two reasons first of all it is the most important thing is closest to the viewer and secondly it's a choice that you do or you're supposed to do we don't have to make that choice obviously we can choose not or, or draw um, draw the the line as it is but I think it's important not to show and not to reveal everything about the the image you do it's best to leave a few things to imagination and the viewer will complete the action and that was supposed to be a quick sketch but I failed to do a quick sketch so I'm continuing with it a little bit more to get first of all a little bit of an outline here so to show where the back leg of the line is it's a beautiful back leg an outline that that sort now the tail goes up this way I've elongated a little bit more I think that line of the back leg is a little bit further back here even low, even hmm? lower or down here um, I lie there off this again back leg uh, I think the eyes are a bit too far apart but 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 that's where the question is is do I need to show it or I'll, I'll keep it at the um, as I said a quick sketch now you have the top of the head uh, of the lioness her mouth here mouth down here and her beautiful deadly let's say movement of I mean obviously she's relaxed now but it's it's just scary the way she's looking although they relax both but you know that they are ready to jump at an immediate threat or food well that's the sketch basically pretty much I just want to leave it at a fresh it's also I want to keep the freshness of that 
Uh, one thing I want, I'm, I'm really interested on those rib cage. So to get the rib cage, firstly, you darken the back muscles, uh, the front leg. Straight with her, without dust from the charcoal. That's the front of the lion's the main line leg. And um, Patty, come and soften those darks there to create a rib cage. And I, the eye of the lioness is way too low here, so I'm pushing it and pulling it up. And we've got the outline of the profile. Don't want to get too much involved with the details. And Dark front leg, back of the lionesses, and you've got the tail. Just a little bit more of uh, details here. Front leg of the lioness. Again, don't want to do too much. Again, I want to keep it at the sketch, at the sketch uh, stage. And the tail, I think the tail, I can push the tail a little bit further up. Back of the tail and the back leg. There. And I know the eyes are not where they should be. Is in there a bit further away, further apart. But to be honest, I don't want to spend more my, much, much more time and to leave it at a sketch like stage Z okay now what's the date today the date the date is twenty ninth See you in the next one. Bye-bye.